Last week there were a lot of things happening in the world of Trekmania, so let's have a look at it. Before we start off, I want to say thanks to Vlyathon for the overlay, as well as Vlee, Spam, Dadaric, Aeona, and Psyniac for the feedback. Starting out with official events, we had OGL Step 6 taking place, which was won by Skander, followed by Sapi, Glast, Conan, Edogawa, Enor, Dark, Hugo, Darkwix, and Sid. And due to that, now we have Enner leading OGL, following by Skandir, Sapi, Darkwix, Hugo, Bresso, and Mika Alpha, and Hornet currently being the 9th position. One thing to note that the top 8 players will be put in the TMGLC and OGL combine, with top 3 players moving up to TMGLC. Also, the Trackmania Grand League Challenger Step 7 took place last week which was won by Mime, and uh, Onotag being in second place, and due to that they're pushing the boundary even further from rest of the playing field, currently with Mime being the first place in the Trackmania Grand League Challenger, falling by Otak, but uh, since the top 8 players will be going into the pro potential promotion phase, uh, so far it's looking that Link, Miquatro, Energize, Fossal, Hydra, Evan will also be the contenders for this position. But so far, looks like that Mime and Otak are the best two strongest contenders for the potential head-to-head -head that might will take place after the Trackmania Grand League uh, season circuit ends. After Trackmania Grand League Challenger, the Trackmania Grand League Step 7 took place as well, which was won by Mada from Edelweiss Esports. Uh, there was an interesting situation happening that all the time in the last map in the multiplier phase, all the time the players who were in 12th place in the standings managed to get the highest multipliers due to that increasing the gap between the head-to-head -head players and rest of the playing field. Now after this step, now solidifying the positions from between all of the players who will be playing in the head-to-head, -head, which so far looks like it's gonna be tween, spam, kappa, worker, unless some kind of miracle does happen this week. We will see these players uh, being played in the head-to-head -head later on. If you look at the total standings currently, Afi is leading the Trackmania Grand League Fall 2021 season, following by Grenadi, Mada who managed to jump from the 12th position to 3rd in the last step, following by then by Aurel, Gwen, Masapak, Binks, who will currently are in the playoff contention. However, the playing field is very very close between all of the players from 4th to to 10th position so anything can still happen. Maybe even Bren can also potentially snap himself into the playoff positions. It was also commented that uh, Carl Jr. doesn't feel that motivated to play in this season as well with some other players due to this system feeling a bit more luck based than like lottery. Especially since the field is so close together with all of the players who are like the best players in the game. And it's not really possible to strategize with the multipliers like it's done in the challenger while well, the skill gaps is way 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 bigger than in the main division. Uh, hopefully everything will be fine in the future and we might see top tier Trackmania competitions bouncing back. But yeah, they will, due to that we'll have the final Trackmania Grand League step taking place this week. And we'll see who will be the final players going into the final phase as well. Who will be the players playing in the head to head even with kind of who will be the matchups for that. Moving on to unofficial events, we had the Trekmania Seasonal Challenger Series ending where XLT Tauro managed to win it over Golden Trio in an incredibly insane match for the Grand Final that I would highly recommend watching it. In the third place, the Team Shift, which was the United team together with including some of the Team Shifts and THE players playing together, as well as the Team Flying Guys placing fourth place in the end. The total prize pool for this event was $560 that was distributed between the top three positions. And uh, overall, this event was absolutely a blast to watch, uh, starting from the qualifiers, group stage to the playoffs, and definitely look out for the next one in next season. Minor League Esports, which is the biggest amateur Rocket League tournament organizer, has announced a Trackmania tournament with $1,000 prize pool. The event will be played in a single elimination cup mode uh, and will be played on December 11th. However, one thing to note that uh, only players from Canada, United States of America and Mexico will be allowed to participate. Also, Naito, uh, the French esports organization, has announced a 100 euro prize pool tournament. Uh, that will be taking place this weekend on December 4th and 5th. It will be played in the classic French system with early single nation rounds mode. 
to then that transitions into cup mode. So definitely I think it's going to be a cool event to check out as well. And to finish it off from the week, here are the cup of the day winner results. Barbos, Massa, Raysons, Elkon, Spam, Link and Clan Winning. So GG's to them. Anyways, that's going to be it for this week's recap. Hope you enjoyed it and see you all later. Bye bye.